Come on. Find the plug, Michelle. It's a game to get them out. Okay, we'll get it right. Remember, we're winging this. This is turkey broth. Broth. Because you know what? I didn't read the book. You have to go in the garbage now. So I'm done with you. Why read the book when you could just wing it? Hi, everybody. So, Welcome back. Today, we are going to make a pot roast in the instant pot. But we're not going to use the fast the fast setting, you know, the, the instant pot setting. We're going to slow cook in this. Use it like a crock pot. That's what we're going to do. My, my crock pot bit the dust. It was, it's probably 20 years old and it finally just bit the dust. I was using it last week and the whole thing started cracking and smelling and I'm like, <sighs> okay, you have to go in the garbage now. So I'm done with you. But there is a slow cooker setting on this instant pot that we're gonna figure out. I've never used it. We're gonna wing this, but we're gonna, we're gonna get it right. We're gonna get it right. If it's not done slow cooking by the time I get home, I'll just bang it on the instant pot and boom it'll be done in minutes so it's a win-win for us so i've got this roast over here this beef chuck roast yeah i bought a beef chuck roast i don't know why i bought chuck roast but i have a chuck roast oh i know i was gonna make beef jerky out of it that's what my plan was plans changed plans changed all right first of all we're gonna open this thing boom there and I'm going to put, I've got all these things I'm going to put in here. When you make a pot roast, you could put anything in it that you feel like. I mean, I've got canned potatoes here. We're going to make this really, really easy because I'm a homeschool teacher now. And I'm going over to my daughter's to homeschool. She works at home. My daughter does. And she's having a tough time working and homeschooling. So I would be babysitting them anyway if she was going to work. So I told her, how about if I come over a couple days a week? and I'll help you homeschool the children. That made her, I made her very happy when I said that. I did. All right, first of all, we're gonna put in some liquid. Yeah, let's do that first. This is turkey broth. I made it, canned it, made it out of my turkey soup. My, oh no, my turkey carcass. The camera fell in the soup that day. Well, this is this is what this is what resulted from it. I've been giving, I've been giving this to the cats. They like it. So instead of giving it to this to the cats, pour it in the pot. Now you're going to see how easy this is. Pour it in the pot. And then let's put in, let's put in a jar of potatoes. These I canned. I made a video canning potatoes. I enjoy these canned potatoes because I don't have to peel potatoes right now. We're going to pour it all in the pot. The only thing that I would do differently is use a wide mouth jar because as you see, it's a game to get them out. So I would use a wide mouth, mouth jar next time I can these because this isn't really working very well now, is it? Come on. Come on there. Okay. Got those in the pot. And then I have, hmm. What next? How about some salt? Let's do some salt next. Salt, pepper, we'll do some seasonings. Oh, salt. Mr. Monkey, as my granddaughter calls it, Mr. Monkey has my salt. All right, just some. That might have been a half a teaspoon. I don't know. Flavor it to your taste. Pepper. And don't be afraid to season your food. Onion, I have onion here that I dehydrated from my garden over the summer. So we're going to put a little bit of, these were the green onions I did. Little onion in there. And then celery. Let's do some celery. This is the celery I dehydrated. So I'm using everything that I, I did through the summer now. So we'll put a little celery in there. Little dehydrated celery doesn't hurt anybody. So that's what we have so far. The potatoes, the celery, the onion, some turkey broth. If you don't have turkey broth, you could just use water. Now we're going to put the meat in there. Meat. Just plop it in there. It actually fell by itself. Plop it in there. No big deal. This is just easy. My plan here is to make life easier for myself. Cowboy candy relish here. Page Family Homestead. They have a video on how to make this. You can tell that it was really good because we've eaten all of it. And I gave the last jar to my daughter because her husband really likes it. And he ate it in a day. He ate the whole jar in a day. So this is really good. So we're going to just... 
dump the rest of that on there and maybe spread it around a little bit. Don't be afraid to use your fingers when you cook either. So yeah, just dump that on there. And then we're gonna, what should we add next? How about some garlic? I have garlic powder here. So making a pot roast is extra, oh yeah, see? Oops. Can you see the holes? Let's show you this side. Come on, you see the holes? I drilled those holes to make a shaky jar. Watch. Look how nice, <laughs> look how easy that is. I made a shaky jar out of a few of my lids because everybody needs a shaky jar. Carrots, let's put some carrots in there. And I'm gonna put the juice and all in here. These are carrots that I canned. I didn't grow these, these were from the grocery store and I peeled them and canned them. Now I don't have to peel them because it's done. And I need this to be done in a hurry, this, this part. Now I have one more jar of potatoes that I'm gonna put in there. But as I was saying, it's really, making a pot roast is simple. Liquid and all is gonna go in here because we need the liquid. We do need the liquid. So this is what we have so far. Carrots, potatoes, just all the things. All the things. Salt, just salt to your taste. Pepper, we'll add some more pepper. I like pepper, so we, we add a little more pepper. Um, garlic, let's add some more garlic because everybody loves garlic. Can't ever have enough garlic, now can you? How about some of my onion flakes? I should put, I can't put a shaky lid on there because some of them are a little bit too big. That's it, that's all I'm adding into this pot. You could see. So don't be intimidated by making a pot roast. Just keep adding things. Now, let's turn this bugger on. Lost the plug. Find the plug, Michelle. I've tried to do this before and not plugged in. It doesn't work. Let's see. And I turned it all the wrong way. Oh, good grief. All right, I'll get, I'll get it. Hold on. Why is this so difficult? Okay, it's plugged in. I can't be the only one that struggled. Oh, there we go. Struggles with instant pot lid. All right, now we need to turn it. And it needs to be on seal. We're gonna keep it on seal. Now you see this slow cook setting right here? We're gonna push that and it goes to normal for four hours. I wanna go six hours. Maybe I'll go less. Let's do less. Oh, that's the time. Okay, we'll get it right. Remember, we're winging this. I wanna do six hours, but I wanna do less, not normal. Let's see, what button would you push to do less? Oh, mercy. All right, well, you know what? We're gonna do normal for six hours and see what happens. Cause you know what? I didn't read the book. Why read the book when you could just swing it? So I hit the slow cook and I bumped it up to six hours. Yeah, that, that'll work for me. We'll figure it out as we go. That's what we're doing. We're, we're winging this and it's going to be good, I promise. It's going to be better than last night's dinner because I have this problem with burning things in the oven. See, look, there's the, the pan. That infinite, infamous, 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 yeah. That's the infamous pan that keeps on getting burned, but it keeps going. I am now headed to my daughter's to homeschool. We're gonna let this just do its thing all day today. And hopefully when I come home, the house is gonna smell really, really good. So, and, if you have adult children that are working from home and you're able to help them if the kid, their kids are homeschooling, if you're able to go help or maybe call and ask if they need help homeschooling because I know it's really hard. My daughter's trying to work and trying to homeschool my kindergarten grandson. So go help your children out. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll appreciate it. All right, I'll see you back after this cooks and after I homeschool or you're not going to see me and I'm going to end the video here because I was so exhausted I went to bed but if that happens just know it was good it worked and it was good how is it yummy yummy <laughs> yummy yummy it worked out really well it just fell apart yeah all right there you got it instant pot pot roast Yummy, yummy, yummy. And it's ten. Look how tender it is. It falls apart. It does. All right. Okay. I will see you in. Hold on, hold on. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho.
Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, what else? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. We got two. One, two. All right, what else we got? I got a hungry dog. <laughs> How's about those pajama pants, though, you know? What's wrong, what's wrong with my, my Santa pants? Love them. Love them, love them. All right. We will see you next time. I have my hat on, so I'm good. Yeah, we're all my good. My sexy hat. Sorry. Oh, and our wallpaper. Wallpaper. The wallpaper, the wall for Christmas. So oh, what? should we show them the Christmas tree? Well, I got I got two trees. I'm working on one now. I need lights. But, yeah, you can show me the other one. Okay. There you go. We're working on that one. He put half the Christmas tree up. We left... <laughs> That's the top half of our Christmas tree. But yeah. Alright. We will show them that one too if you want. No, we'll show them that one in another video. Okay. We have a pallet Christmas tree here that he made, so I made them. Yeah. I got two of them actually, but one I think I have to do some work on. Alright, we'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and back for more. Yeah. Yay. Alright, bye. Bye. bye.